so, you know, bankers, what do you think about, are you, do you feel that, you know, community banks, we are again in direct competition with the government for deposits, you know, part of, you know, it's not a far stretch. I think this administration, the administration was trying to offer checking accounts to the postal service that it completely failed. So are they now raising rates and trying to make Americans more dependent on government services now paying interest? You know, that, you know, is an, could be a possible argument. Are they trying to make not only consumers during COVID, we were dependent because we got money from the government to handle COVID relief. So now here's your money and now we're paying you more interest than the banks. I think that that kind of a good thing, you know, they seem to be getting more involved in consumers over the last few years. What makes America are smaller banks. That is, you go to any other country, you're not going to be able to get funding for $100,000, $200,000 to um, fund your mechanic shop, to fund your fence company, to fund things that are going. And so, you know, what they're doing here in, in this particular thing is, it's like they're ba blasting small banks. It, it's, it's complete other bullshit. They are the direct result of what they're doing is the reason why there's less money in the coffers. But then again, banks had it on easy street as far as deposits during the COVID relief. So, um, you know, they did get a little bit lazy. But, you know, just because they're borrowed from the federal discount window does not make any difference of their viability at all. If it makes sense, if you're doing it temporarily, you know, for a few days as opposed to locking in the future for longer rates, that makes way more sense for a bank to do that.